If you are interested to become a Monstack developer, this video is for you. In the Monstack developer, we learn four technologies. It is MongoDB, that is a database. We learn ReactJS, that is for the front-end development. We learn Node.js, that is for the back-end development. And we learn ExpressJS, that is a framework for the back-end. But before starting this Monstack, we learn JavaScript. JavaScript is the mother of all of these technologies. The best part of the Monstack is, it is actually using entirely the JavaScript. It means on the front-end side, it means on the back-end side, it means on the database side, you're using a one thing that is a JavaScript. That's the beauty of this. So this course start with the absolute beginning. It start with the JavaScript. And what sort of knowledge you need to, before starting this course, you must be aware either of C language, either of the C++ language, either of the Java, any of them. So this course start with very basic knowledge of the JavaScript and it involves the functional JavaScript, it involves the asynchronous JavaScript, it involves the latest features of the JavaScript, I mean the ACMA 2020. Once we learn the JavaScript, that is for the client side, we move to the React.js. React.js is a view library. It is created by the Facebook in 2015. And a lot of websites is built on this. Netflix is using right now this, Facebook is even using it, Instagram is using this. And React.js is basically to build single page applications. Single page applications are in, are in the trend. In earlier, we are creating most of the website which is multi-page applications. It means on every time when you request to the server, you are fetching the new page. So every time you are actually fetching the new page. So instead of fetching the new page on every request, because it will lose the user experience. Because every time the page is coming from the server, so it will take a lot of time and it will get rendered to the client side. But when we are using a React.js, the page is loaded once and on each subsequent request, it is not loading the page. It is loading the data as well as it is loading the components. So it means we are dividing our page into small, small components. In React.js course, we are going to cover how to build the components, how the components are interacting to each other, how the components are talking to the web APIs, I mean how they interact to the backend, how they send the data to the server, how they receive the data from the server, how they manipulate the data which is coming in a JSON format, how to do the state management, what is new in the React latest versions. So these are the things which, which we are going to cover up, including how to connect with the Firebase. In the backend, we are going to cover three things. The first thing is the Mongo. Mongo is a database and it is a NoSQL database. It is very different from the RDMS because it does not provide you any structured query language. We are going to store the JSON in a file. So there is no such concept like tables. So everything is in form of JSON. JSON is, a, is your JavaScript object notation. So primarily you are going to write the JavaScript to do the CRUD operation. That's the best part of this. Because you learn the JavaScript, so you can use the JavaScript in the database. There is no need to learn any SQL queries at all. In backend, second thing we are going to cover, that is Node.js. Node.js is basically a single threaded asynchronous. What does it mean? It means you are reading a files or either you're writing a files or either you're fetching the data from the network. Everything is in form of asynchronous. It means it is non-blocking model. So non-blocking model is best fitted when you have a lot of read and write stuff. So if you're going to plan to build any social media website like Facebook or Instagram or Twitter kind of stuff. So you your website having a lot of read and write stuff. If you want to do to create a chat application which is actually doing the lot of read and write stuff. If you want to build applications like online gaming it is again the read write stuff. In Node.js course we will learn how to write your own servers. How these servers run on HTTPS protocol how these servers are work on the cluster mode. We're going to learn how to use the standard modules. 
and we are going to learn how you can create your own modules and how you can publish it on npm so you will learn how to consume the third party libraries as well as how you can push your modules on npm and finally the third thing in the back end that is expressjs expressjs is a framework which is written on top of nodejs through expressjs we are able to build the web apis and how, and we can test these apis with postman we can integrate this web apis with a mongo we can integrate with some payment gateways we can integrate with a mail service we can integrate with some encryptions so these things is covered in this course and final picture is we are going to create a one end to end project which involve all these four technologies i mean the mongo express react and node all these together in a one single project